boys and girls, we're back to comparing team numbers. Yesterday we were using a picture strategy to compare those team numbers. And today the strategy we're going to use is 10 frames. So we're going to look at um, groups of numbers that are inside 10 frames. And we're going to decide if they are greater than, less than, or equal to. So our learning target is to compare team numbers using 10 frames to determine if the numbers are greater than, less than, or equal to. And here's a picture of a 10 frame because that's the strategy we will be using. We know that a 10 frame has 10 boxes. So if it's all filled like that, how many dots, yellow dots, is in that 10 frame? Without even counting, you should know. Very good, 10. At the snap of my fingers, excellent job. There are 10 dots in that yellow 10 frame, and I know that because all of the boxes are filled. So comparing team numbers using a 10 frame, we need to start similar to how we did um, before with our pictures, and we need to, very good, count each group. So I don't have to count, touch and count each one because I know how many are there. 10. So I could just count on. I have 10 here. I'm going to count on 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. I have 16 in this group. And again, over here, I have how many here? 10. Very good because it's all filled. And then count on 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So I have 16 in this group and 16 in the other group. So now I have to decide. Now that I counted, is 16 greater than 16, 16 less than 16, or is 16 equal to 16? What do you think? Hmm. 16 is equal to 16. They are the same. So we use that special vocabulary word equal to. If I gave them a partner, all of the dots in the 10 frames would have a partner. We have the same number inside the 10 frame and outside the 10 frame. Both groups have 10 and 6 more. So they Let's say together, 16 is equal to 16. Excellent job. Here's our next practice. So again, I know how many are here. 10. And I count on 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. I have 15 in this group. And in this group over here, how many are here? 10. And count on 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So I have 15 in my first group and 19 in my second group. So is 15 greater than 19? Is 15 less than 19? Or is 15 equal to 19? What do you think? You might have said 15 is less than 19 because it is a smaller amount. We can see here they both have one 10 frame that's all filled, but then the number 15 has five more and the number 19 has nine more. We know that that number five is less than, it's smaller than nine. So that's one way you might have solved it. And you say 15 is less than 19. Can you say that by yourself? Great job practicing those special vocabulary words. Let's do the next one. In this group over here, I see 10 and 3 more. 1, 2, 3. I know 10 and 3 more makes 13. Or I could count on 10, 11, 12, 13. And then in this group over here, I have my 10 and one more, which is 11. Excellent job, boys and girls. So we have 13 and 11. So we say 13 is greater than 11, or 13 is less than 11, or 13 is equal to 11. Hmm. How are you thinking about it? 
I can see, I'm thinking 13 is not equal to 11 because they're not the same. They don't have the same amounts. So now I have to decide, is it greater than or less than? Hmm. They each have one 10 frame all filled, so those ones would each have a partner. But then over here I have three extra, and over here only one extra. So which one? Ah, the number 13 is greater than the number 11. Let's say that all together. 13 is greater than 11. How about by yourself? Good, and we could use that motion too. Remember from when we're learning our vocabulary, we hold our arms nice and wide and we say 13 is greater than 11. And our next practice. Over here, first we have to start by counting our two groups separately. So over here I have 10, counting on, 11, 12, 13, 14. And over here again I have 10 and then counting on, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So I have one group of 14 and one group of 17. So now I have to think, I have to decide. Is 14 greater than 17? Is 14 less than 17? Or is 14 equal to 17? What do you think? Oh, I like to hear your thinking. Thank you boys and girls for thinking out loud. So we know it's not equal to because they're not the same. The number 14 is not the same as the number 17, so it's not equal to. Now over here I have four extra. I have one 10 frame and four extra. And over here to make 17, I have one 10 frame and seven extra. So if I gave them a partner, oh no, is there enough in number 14 for them all to have a partner? No, you're right. So num that means that number 14 has to be less. Remember our motion is a little bit, we put our hands close together. So we could say 14 is less than 17. Can you say that with me? 14 is less than 17. Great job. Here's another practice for us using our 10 frames. So let's see. Over here, we have to count our groups. I have one 10 frame all filled, so I know automatically at the snap of my fingers that there are 10 there. And then how many extra do we see here? I see three extra, one, two, three. So 10 and three more, how many does that make? 13, if you need to count on, we could count on 10, 11, 12, 13, very good. And how about over here? I have one 10 frame all filled also. Oh my goodness, and over here I have another three extra. 10 and three extra is 13. So now I have 13 and 13. So now I have to decide, we have to compare them. Is 13 greater than 13? 13 less than 13? Or is 13 equal to 13? Shout it out. Very good. 13 is equal to 13. And how did you know that? You might have said you can see that both groups have a 10 frame all filled and both groups have three extra. The number 13 and the number 13 are the same. That means that they are equal. Say equal means the same. Yes. So they are the same. If I gave them each a partner, that would be another strategy and we would see that they all had a partner. Here's another practice for us. So here I see one 10 frame all filled and I'm gonna count on 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And over here I have a whole 10 frame filled and I have 11, 12 if I count on 10 and two more to make 12. So I have 17 and 
12. Now I have to compare them. I have to decide. Is 17 greater than 12? Is 17 less than 12? Or is 17 equal to 12? Right, 17 is greater than 12. Can you say it using that big voice? 17 is greater than 12. Because how did you know that? Well, you know that the number 17 is more than the number 12. Over here, if we gave them each a partner, they each have one 10 frame. So those ones inside the 10 frame would be each get a partner and then this one would get a partner over here and this one would get a partner over here but oh no do these friends extra five get partners no so that tells me that the number 17 is greater than the number 12 say it with me 17 is greater than 12. Great job, boys and girls. Thank you for practicing comparing teen numbers using 10 frames with me.